Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, McFizzle's Hardcore Survival World. This is episode number four, uh, day 103, in season nine. Um, just, just, this is just what I've been doing uh, when I started this video, clearing out all of this obsidian, and um, just to make it easier for my strip mine, don't really plan on using the obsidian for anything in particular, but mostly just to um, yeah clear it out so I can just mine quickly when I eventually get around to it. So yeah, it's a bit tedious, but you know, so be it. I think it's worth it. I might even end up using it for uh, fuel. I think later on. If I start getting some um, netherrack. Okay, it's day 110, and so what I've been doing in between uh, epic obsidian mining expeditions is I've decided to start the trophy land area. So this was the first trophy I got. Um, this is uh, first trophy uh, earned and it was punching wood or getting wood and I got that on day one so there's the 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 monument to that it's looking good yeah punch some wood that's what I did I got some wood yeah and so we're gonna that's what I'm doing in between so I've come up I've made that now it's back into the depths of the mine for some more obsidian Alright, 14 days have passed. 14 days of obsidian mining and I decided to... I came back up to the surface so this is my second little uh, uh, achievement area trophy land thing. Second trophy and taking inventory and uh, I earned that on day one as well. So I've got like my little flowers I've got some uh, pink tulips I guess and some roses and uh, I'm gonna have to move the chest I've already moved the chest but I don't have any uh, spruce wood yet so I'm just gonna leave the fence and um, I'll get I'll probably add that a bit, a bit later but yeah I'm pretty happy with that one I'm, uh, so far so good I don't know how I'm gonna go when I get up to later trophies Okay, third trophy earned was benchmarking, and that on day one. This is another 12 days later. So in between all these, all I'm doing literally is going down and mining obsidian. So it's just taken me a long time, and just whenever I fill up my inventory or I have to come up to the surface for something, I just do something to break the monotony. And uh, I did have some beach. Uh, obviously, because I've got my huge big beach farm, but um, get out of here, drowner. Pretty happy with uh, how they're looking so far. Yeah, okay, he's not going to bother me now. You can see I've added the path in on the second one, and yeah, I'm just going to keep going across, you know, for each one. Alright, we've had an unfortunate development. Uh, Bedrock Tower has had to go up another block. Um, so, yeah, it's day 145. Like I said, I, I stay alive a long time in these worlds. But, yeah, it's, it's hard to see with the progress. It's just interesting to see how long it takes me to do these things. I'm still doing the obsidian mining. Uh, I've got some flowers here. That I'm putting out. I don't have any jungle wood. Jungle wood is the fourth wood um, on the list. Don't have any jungle wood. Haven't found a jungle yet. Um, so I believe that one was time to strike. Uh, that was the third trophy I earned, and I earned that on day one too. Next up is 
Day 163. Whoa. It's crazy. So last episode I got to episode 100. I'm nearly at 200 in the next episode. Um, this is the um, this is my cartography room, but it won't fit in here. So I'm going to have to make another water elevator, and it's going to go down in here. Um, so I've got my first uh, map set up. So I've just got to um, make it. There's the the base. Uh, you can see the pathways there and now I'm going to extend it and see how I want it to uh, level 3 I like all my uh, maps 3 out of 4 4 out of 4 is just too big like um, it takes so long to fill in a map and I don't think it looks any better than the the, um, the 3 or 4 it's just easier to fill in I think so that's what I'm up to. I need to look for flowers because I've run out of flowers in the local area. So um, I'm just going to go on a bit of a tour and see what is what what the world beyond looks like. Because um, yeah, I've pretty much stuck around the base for the most part. I went over to the desert a little bit, and I know there's a village over to the to the right because um, I saw that on one of my little uh, um, trips so uh, I think we'll probably head over that way and just see what's over there so this is the direction that the um, village is that's nearby uh, I think I mentioned it in the last episode I can't remember what I was doing heading over this way but probably just looking down the river for something. You can see it there in the distance and um, hopefully they've got some flowers because I need some new flowers for my uh, my next uh, uh, trophy monument. So this is the village. There's a couple of villages around so hopefully I can get my village farm uh, started eventually. I'll use those guys. I think I'm going to have my uh, village farm in the middle of the desert um, to really uh, lift, you know, go the slavery angle and use all of the sandstone and stuff like that. Um, I think that'll be a, something I haven't done before. But we've also got a big ocean, so I need that uh, I need that wood to make a boat, and uh, so I can sail the seven seas. We haven't had to, yeah, we haven't had to build a boat, obviously, because we haven't really left our base for the first uh, 160 odd days. So uh, this is going to, hopefully we'll find some... The other thing I'm looking for is a jungle, obviously. I need that jungle wood and um, uh, spruce. Like, I, I can also use some spruce, so I'm pretty sure I'll probably find some spruce on this... Uh, jaunt but I uh, don't know about the jungle I sometimes have a bit of trouble finding jungles I'm ch again I'm going to try not to use the internet to, to help me find them but we'll see I sometimes get a bit frustrated with uh, how long it takes to find jungles but um, yeah so we'll just have a look I haven't seen this sort of a building before in quite some time like um, like a dining hall, I guess you would call it, or a, you know, a multi, uh, multiple villager bedroom. But uh, there wasn't, you know, there's not a lot of stuff. We've got a uh, blacksmith. They usually have some pretty good loot. What do they got? Oh, a saddle. Nice. Some leather. I'll take those pants. I'll take that bread. Nice. We got some more cement. You know, s s polished stone blocks, but um, yeah, it's not really a huge village. It just looks like a little sister village of the one I've already that are, that I've already taken over. This just this one has a lot more villages in it. So yeah, when I I've, I've got no plans to start the villager farm just yet. 
but if and when I do, I think that's going to be the place. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to try and transfer the villages over with um, train tracks this time because uh, I felt that was a bit more efficient time-wise. But I suppose I could always use the the boat method again. But yeah, not for a while. But I think I'll just go to bed now and then we'll start uh, sailing the oceans in our boat. Because, yeah, we don't want to sleep. We can't sleep on the seas. So, daytime. What day are we up to? 164, I guess. Yes. My maths is still working. Um, yeah, so I guess we're off to sail the seas. We'll get our map out again. So we can see what um, we, which direction we're heading in. We want to get close so we can fill in the border of this map. And then we'll head off and see what else we can find in the world beyond. Alright, we're nearly at the corner there now. We've got a... Um, base there, one of those underwater things, so no doubt we're going to get zapped by one of the guardians. There he is. So that's no digging for us now for a little while. That happens. Further down now on that right hand side and we've hit some land and we have sighted some spruce but um, we're not going to be able to uh, get it because we've obviously got that uh, uh, effect from the um, Guardian on us. So, okay, we're starting to get to the point now where it's wa wa worn off. And so we can start chopping down some spruce. Need that spruce for our, uh, our wood collections. And, um, yeah, we can make our fence. Oh, we've got a wolf there. Little Wolfie. Shout out to Wolfie. Uh, a friend of mine's dog. And Larry. What a, what, they're good dogs. Not that I think they'll ever see this, but shout, just give them a shout out anyway. Day 165. We've collected a whole bunch of spruce. We've got some saplings. Um... We've got enough now that we can hopefully just start our own little spruce farm at home. And we're back exploring the map. I thought that was a turtle down there, but it's not. And yeah, we're back on the water. So we'll head off this way, um, I think, and try and fill in this map. I'm also picking up just any trees that have fallen down. I try and leave the up trees if I can. Just, uh, yeah. Off we go. Okay, we've nearly finished the bottom. Now we've hit a... There's a nice ice uh, biome. Which makes me... Reminds me that I wanted to make an ice base. Uh, maybe that... I'll do that in the next uh, series. The big ice base. And we're heading up. Ooh, Atlantis? So we must have crossed over the uh, a underwater structure. Um, cool. I wasn't expecting on it getting any achievements, any trophies, but I'll take Atlantis. I mean, Atlantis? So we've got that one. There's another one over there. You can just see there to the right. So I think that's all you have to do is just go over one of those in your boat or come across one underwater and you get that trophy but we'll go up the top here and we'll try and grab some of this um, acacia wood too since we might as well grab that um, since there's some here there's a dolphin thought it might have been a drowned anyway let's we'll climb up here let's punch some oh Adventuring time. 
Oh, I need diamond boots for that one, eh? That's going to be an expensive uh, trophy to make. Oh, I'll take it. That's two trophies this episode. Unexpected. Um, yeah, the explosive. I don't like digging big staircases into things either. I like trying to keep the landscape as much as as normal as possible, except around my base, because I just think it looks... I like the way it spawns in sometimes. Try and make it look like I haven't been in these areas before. Um, so just placing dirt, that usually helps. Alright, we've got a nice little plateau here. Oh, that's a nice view there. Is there any jungles? Doesn't look like it. So we'll... I think we'll probably chop down as many of these acacia trees as we can and just hang out here for a while. Collecting saplings. Probably have to sleep up here though, looking at the time of day. There's a cave there. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Have a sleep. Okay, five days later, I finished my map. I filled it in, and this is it on the uh, on the uh, cartography room wall. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna look prettier than this, obviously, but I'm just uh, keeping it this way for now. Might have a couple of different rooms. I think this top room I'm gonna wallpaper it with like bigger versions of the maps. Um, but we'll see. But I did catch some flowers, so I've got my uh, fifth trophy earned. Time to mine, uh, which I got on day one. So we've got our acacia wood. It was a day 170 when I finished this. We've got some nice little white flowers. And I... Oh, we better put some dirt there. We got any dirt on us? Yeah. Collecting the sand. I'm pretty much wiping out that desert across the across the way for the sand, so I can keep all of the sand around the. And see, we got rose bushes as our uh, as our second flower in there, and we've started the uh, sideways uh, progression of the. And we also got our spruce woods here. Got our spruce wood fence in, so we're just missing the jungle wood now. And dark oak, we have to get some dark oak. This is the next one, six trophy earned. And that's repopulation. As you can see, we've skipped forward another 14 days, another couple of weeks of obsidian mining. And um, yeah, we've got our sixth trophy in trophy land done. So yeah, it's coming along, I'm getting through the obsidian too. Meanwhile, in the nether, 30 days later, um, I've started, uh, I got so much um, cobble, I decided I needed to extend, um, expand my uh, nether operation. I've sh everything, every wall is two blocks thick in this sort of area, and this is going to be where I'm going to start sort of expanding Oh, we passed the time. Passing the time trophy. All right. Yeah, at this stage, this is where I'm going to start um, my explorations of the Nether. I want a really safe um, area, and then I'm pretty much going to strip mine this whole place, looking for uh, the Netherite. Uh, I really want to get netherite armor this season. And so, fast forward another 20 days, <laughs> it's past 200, and uh, I've had to ex expand the production in the uh, furnace room. So we're using lava buckets, and we're getting rid of, we pretty much filled up a double chest and a bit of with netherrack, and we're turning that into nether bricks. Um, for future use. I don't know what I'm going to actually use them for yet. Hey, super fuel! So the uh, 
using lava as a super fuel and that's an achievement apparently I can't believe I've never done that before in this in these worlds because I usually do it uh, in my own personal you know fun world I use I do that all the time and I don't think I've ever got an if I've got an achievement for it it was so long ago I don't even remember so yeah I met uh, I'm gonna try and do this as I go um, just so but yeah I don't even know what I'm gonna do with all these nether brick but we'll, we'll come up with something and that brings us to the end of episode 4 of season 9 of McFizzle's Hardcore Survival World. Thanks everybody for watching. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, leave a comment, uh, add me to your notifications, and I'll see you all later. Bye!